Hello everyone, this is Joe for Soft Corners here. And for today's video, I have uh, just a couple pickups from um, my LCS from last weekend. And um, when I say LCS, it literally could not get much closer. It's like two minutes away. Um, but honestly, I haven't been there in, I, I would say four or five months, maybe six months. It's just, um, they don't have a ton of this stuff I usually search out or want to buy so um i just kind of maybe avoid going just so i don't force myself to get something just for going there but um i hadn't been there in a while and uh my uh buddy bren reached out to me and said he wanted to go so i definitely wanted to check out they have a lot of dollar boxes and then usually not much vintage but i think they get some in every now and then and just sprinkle it around either in dollar boxes or different boxes so um just something I wanted to check out since I haven't been there a while so just a couple things from the dollar box here uh, I have 11 cards here um, plus I had another two that I picked up that I intend to send out in care packages so um, 13 cards in all so these were whatever the math works out to there probably like 80 some cents a piece but um, here's a 88 tops traded Jay Buna rookie. Didn't have one of those, so it was a really nice example, so I just figured I'd grab that. 85 tops Eric Davis rookie. Uh, here's two Chipper Jones cards. This is 96 Flare Ultra Flare, uh, Fresh Foundations. Need insert there. I was just <laughs> double checking because the images look very similar, but they're not the same. But um, so it's 96 tops with the rookie cup. So I really like that one. Uh, 81 tops record breaker, uh, Mike Schmidt. Two tops, Nolan Ryan. That one looks pretty nice overall, I think. So for a dollar, a little corner ding there. But uh, this is a two thousand, a two thousand upper deck superior talent, best in the bigs. So I think it's upper deck pros and prospects is the set. Um, Ken Griffey Jr. There's a lot of different titles going on in this card, so I don't know what the... This is numbered like a normal base card, so I wasn't... But I think it says pros and prospects down there, so... Um, two numbered inserts here. This is from 05 Donruss Craftsman. Um, this is Mark Teixeira. This one's numbered out of 2000. I mean, for 05, pretty high numbered, but nice foil finish on there and goes really nice with the uh, colors go really nice with the Rangers uniform. And I said a couple times, uh, definitely a very underrated player. I think Mark Teixeira has like 50 career war and was a power hitter that didn't strike out a ton. Really good defender. I think he has five gold gloves, so just really nice player overall and a guy I like to pick up cards of. Uh, is 96 Donruss, Armed and Dangerous, Devon Rodriguez. This one's numbered to 5,000. And from 95 Upper Deck Collector's Choice, this is the Special Edition Silver Signature Ken Griffey Jr. Gold signature, Greg Mannix. So I thought most of those were pretty good values for less than a dollar a piece. <clears throat> and then these, so the way it ended up bundled these two together for I think $20. So the 
this is um, kind of working backwards with this set. Um, I said a couple times now, 83 was the year I was born, so I wanted to work on the 83 sets. Um, I picked up the Tony Gwynn rookie the other week. Uh, so this is the Ryan Sandberg here yet. So for the bigger ones, just need the bogs yet. Um, and then there's a couple save searches I have on eBay, just probably try and pick up well, there's many places I can try and pick up uh, the rest of the just common cards. And I mean, there's still some like the second year Ripken and stuff like that of cards I don't have that will cost a couple more, a couple dollars maybe. But um, definitely have a couple different avenues to pick up the rest of that fairly cheap. But um, and then, like I said, there's not much here like this card often, but I think they just, people bringing stuff in to sell and um, just pick up cards that way. And then they just put them either in the case or in some boxes. So this is the 54 Bowman Phil Rizzuto. Um, definitely has a lot of surface wear and crease here, but... Um, this is also card number one in the set, so I feel like that definitely has to go into, condition-wise, has to go into the, um, you know, you're thinking of this card when it comes to condition, because first and last card always tends to have more issues, but um, showed, show, I've showed a lot of cards off from this set, um, just from random pickups and then also um, for um, a little video. See, there was a two-part video thing I did with the pickups from um, B. Ross 6 that um, the 54 Bowman and Tops cards had all the tape on them and then <clears throat> showed the progress after I took it all off. But um, got a lot of feedback from people saying one that it kind of appreciate the way I collect with these cards that I mean in rough shape but still present very well and then um, as far as the specifically 54 Bowman just that it almost kind of adds something to it I, I mean all things considered I mean this is the way I collect because it's the way I can afford to collect but um I mean, obviously I would, at any chance I could to get these cards in better condition, I definitely would prefer that. <laughs> um, and I mean, they definitely, I would say it would always look better in better condition, but I mean, taking into account that it's 70 years old, um, I feel like some issues are, you know, to be expected and uh, just, I don't think it really takes away from the look of the card at all. And, I kind of agree that, I mean, the ruggedness maybe just give, gives it some character and, um, I don't know, it's just a great looking card in my opinion, so, um, let me know in your, in the comments, any thoughts you have on these pickups, um, probably will be a little while till I head back there again just to see if they, you know, replenish any of the dollar box stuff or, um, get any more of these older cards in, but, um, definitely just being so close, a place I should frequent more often, but um, I'll have to work on that. But uh, like I said, just let me know in the comments any thoughts on these pickups, what were your favorites, if you thought they were good deals, and um, thank you for watching. Until next time, just remember any card can be a great looking card, even if it has four soft corners. Thank you.